We're going to show now how to install a white corner end strainer. What I've done on the back side of the post is actually nailed on a fencing staple to help maintain our wire heights or the distance between the wires. Those distances are totally determined by the type of animal you want to keep inside your fence or the animal you want to keep out of your fence. Basically we feed the high tensile wire through our staple to set our height. We bring the tail of the wire around the post and underneath itself. We then reach around and tuck the tail back through the opening and tighten that loop. Push the closed loop toward the post and slightly kink the wire so it holds itself in place. Then we build a handle at 90 degrees with the rest of the tail and then we finish our tie. We bring the tail over the top, reach underneath, bring it around over the top again. We can do this four or five times. We finish with the handle in the up position. We will reach underneath our wire, bring the handle under, and we twist towards the post and it breaks off the rest of the handle. So I like to leave about a two foot tail from our knot in the corner, and then you'd install your white corner insulator. Feed the insulator onto the wire and measure back from your post. We bend the wire around back onto itself. Once again you make a 90 degree handle. Simply twist that wire tightly on itself four or five times. Once again we come backwards, reach around the other side of the insulator and crank our handle down towards the post and it breaks off nice and clean. The end distance between your insulator and the post itself is basically determined by the user. A scenario of about 9 or 10 inches is very common in beef cattle or horse operations. People that raise sheep or small ruminants may set the white end strainer closer to the post to prevent predators from climbing through the uncharged portion of the wire. We should mention we always want to tie the wire so it has the most plastic protecting it from the post. It gives more strength and it allows all the current that's going to be on the fence to be stopped by the insulator itself. We do not want to tie on the short side of the strainer. We will take the end of our high tensile wire, feed it through the white end strainer, hold the strainer tight, once again, we make a 90 degree handle on the tail. And break our wire off clean. 